Different types of saltwater fish have unique nutritional needs, so it is important to feed your fish the correct diet. Ensuring you provide a correct and high quality diet to your fish will not only improve their color and growth, but also increase their lifespan. We will group fish into three main categories when talking about fish nutrition, herbivores, omnivore, and carnivores. Let's dive into fish nutrition. Dried seaweed sheets are the most natural food for herbivores, such as tangs, fox faces, and some blennies. You're gonna to wanna to use an algae clip, folding the algae sheet onto it. And also, if you have any aggressive feeders, put some tears into it so that one big fish doesn't come and just rip it off the clip and no one else gets any of the algae. A frozen herbivore blend should also be fed. This is gonna ensure that your herbivores are getting plenty of algae in their diet. You don't want too much meat going to them as it's gonna cause nutritional issues long-term. A lot of saltwater fish fall into the omnivore category as they benefit from both algae and meat in their diets. A lot of your fish are gonna be considered opportunistic omnivores. What this means is even if their diet's supposed to be mostly meat or mostly vegetable, they're gonna partake in eating both. So providing a good quality omnivore diet is gonna feed most fish in your aquarium. Frozen mysis is a great choice for carnivores like wrasses, hawkfish, gobies, and antheas. These fish need their diet to be more meat-based, even if they are eating a little bit of algae, but you wanna be the bulk of it to be meat. If you have larger carnivores like groupers and triggers or puffers, you're gonna to wanna to actually feed something larger like krill or silver sides to them. Pellets are a convenient option, but they should always be used as a secondary food. Frozen food is always number one. Pellets do not have as much nutrition as frozen food. They also are very processed and have a lot of fillers, which means there's less nutrition going to your food and the fillers equal a lot more waste in your aquarium. In my opinion, flake food should never be used. It has even less nutrition than pellets and feeding that to your fish in any regular schedule can lead to health issues. Saltwater fish can live up to 30 years or more and proper nutrition plays a huge role in this. Feeding high quality frozen food matches your fish's specific nutritional needs will ensure you're providing them the best. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And to learn more about Waterbox, visit waterboxaquariums.com.